Hey guys, so welcome back to my short video series. So this is the second video in the series and basically so that I can have a video posted every week on my YouTube, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start doing really short videos on the off week when I previously wasn't posting a video before. So just quick shortcuts and things like that. So today what I wanted to show you guys is a tip about working with markers. So basically if you want to jump to a marker really quickly, what you can do is if you know the number for the marker, so for example, I know the start marker is number one and if you'll notice my uh, my cursor is right over here so what you can do is you go to the numeric keypad and you hit the period button and then the number for the marker and then the period button again so if I want to jump to that start marker which is marker number one I go period one period and now you'll notice my cursor is right there so you can use this it's pretty handy if you hold shift while you do that so if I want to go to number two which is the end one here Maybe I should have picked a session that had more markers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, so the end one is number two. So if I hold shift, I can go period two, period. And that highlights that whole region. So right now, I'm ready to bounce this out. So it's really handy for that. On a lot of my sessions, what I'll do is I'll make the end marker the first one. So it's the first one that I make. And then when I'm ready to bounce, what I do is I can be anywhere. And I just go period one, period. I'm going to type two for this one, though. And it brings the cursor to the end marker there. So you can see it right here. And then I do shift and enter. And that highlights from the beginning of my session all the way to that end marker. So that's why a lot of the time, I didn't do it on this one. I don't remember why. But a lot of the time, I make that end marker my very first one. So it's the first one that I make. Um, and that's just so that I can bounce out really quickly when I'm ready. It might be kind of dumb. I don't know. But I feel like it makes it a little faster. So I do that. So. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can do the shift trick to highlight and it'll go backwards as well. So I'm just holding shift right now. I'm not holding option. I know a lot of things you have to hold option to reverse the direction in Pro Tools, but I'm not doing it right now. And then you just go period one period and it brings me back to that first one. It highlights the, the whole difference, right? So from the second marker to the first marker, from where my cursor was to where I'm bringing the cursor. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that's one way you can navigate around with your markers in Pro Tools. And just a couple of quick things to keep in mind here. This is really basic, but um, maybe it'll help some of you guys, is that I can click on this marker and I can drag it around, or I can delete it by dragging it off the markers ruler, and that'll delete it. I can also hold Option and then click on it, and that will delete it as well. So there's a few different ways you can work with markers. There's also a markers window, which I probably won't get into today because I'm just doing a really quick video here. But um, yeah, I think the most useful thing for me is that period and then the number of the marker period. So period two period jumps over here. Period one period jumps back here. And also just in case you guys don't know, um, you just hit enter on the numeric keypad to create a new marker and then you can rename it and then hit enter again, and that'll make a new marker. And if you ever wanna see what the number is for a marker, you can just double click here, right up here at the top, and that'll pull up the memory location window, and you can then see the number. So this one's number three. So if I then wanna to jump to that one, period three period, and it brings me there. So, and that's just by double clicking here on the little diamond. Is it a diamond? Anyway. So that's that. I hope that helps some of you guys, and thanks for watching. Okay.